Hey everybody, welcome to my video. Today, in this video, together we will model this part. This is a sheet metal part and a real part. So, let me close this one first and open a new sketch, new part. Top plane selected, we create a sketch, we get a line, we create something like this. Select two of them, this many will pop up. Then we make them equal, and this is 20. We close this part, sketch, sheet metal, base, flange, tap. Height is 50, that will be inward. Okay, take care, it will be inward. Thickness is 3, weight is 0 0.5. You're gonna get game maybe an error, why 0 0.5? Because the 3 millimeter part in a base break, you cannot produce a part with a radius 0.5. So that's true, but this is not going to be produced in a press break. There is other uh, methodology to produce part in sheet metal. So this is okay, we continue. Features, fit it. Here I select this edge, it's four edge and three. Okay, good. We create here a sketch, we say normal tool. I drop here plus one circle. I drop here one slot. Okay. Good. Vertical width is four from here to here. Twelve and a half. Maybe we will change this one later, but let's keep it like this now. This is 17 and a half. This guy from here, 8. This timer is 8. And from here was 15. Okay. Good. Extrude cut. Link to thickness. It is cut it. And fine. So. Let's save this. This is our first part. Locker 0101. So I open a new assembly now and I bring first part inside. It just plays the summer and it is fixed. We click right and say float. That means part can move around now. Origin and origin selected. Control pressed and we make here this part coincident so it is fully defined here you see but I need a mirror of this part so what I will do I will save as save as a copy and open okay only last digit will change then part here Keep the original document open. We click here, a trick, right? Add a sketch plane and select this one. Continue. Okay. So something's missing. We will fix them. No problem. We get this here. We say eight, then 12 and a half. Now in the wrong direction, we're going to make it from here. Okay, 12 and a half. Yes, something's uh, here missing. Right click and remove it. Control select edge, coincident. Okay, good. Without having a lot of labor work, we fix this part. Otherwise, we need to model from beginning. You could mirror it, that's also fine, but this is much more professional. So, top surface, top surface, we need to a little bit rotate those guy. Yes, something like this. Mate, mate, select two surface. We give a distance. We will say distance is five, but minus five. 
Okay, flip the dimension, not minus. This is good. And then the last thing that we're gonna do, align them. Okay, we get two part. They are looking fine, aligned, and both fully defined. We can close. We can save also the SE. Say Docker. 01000. Okay. Now let's add uh, some extra holes here on this plane. Normal to sketch. This is selected. Everything construction geometry. This two is equal. Control press, by the way. Now we are having here eight point to point thirty five. Okay, close this boy, go to whole wizard, select this guy, everything like should be here, then sketch one, two. We cut out, cut out here. It is okay. We close this guy. Let's open here. This is a little bit labor work. We're gonna repeat the same thing. We can start like this now because hole will not be here. Construction geometry eight thirty five divided by two, and we are good to go. Hole wizard. This guy is selected, nothing changing. One, two. Okay, fine. So, another sketch. Here I will place one hole. This will be at eight. This will be at eight as well. Diameter is six twenty five. We close this, extrude cut, link to thickness active, good. I close part and then check if it has assembly the status. It is good. Now we're gonna create an arm. New part, top plane, and I will draw something like this. Smart dimension, guys. 35, 15, 1, 35. We close this. Sheet metal, base flange tab, mid plane, 15, 3, 0 0.5. Okay, this is good. Fill it. Again, 3. Select this four edge here. A sketch from here to here and eight and here another six point twenty five. Okay, six twenty five looks good. Close sketch, cut again. Nice, we can save this. This is part three. Okay. I open assembly. I bring this guy here. Select this hole. This one. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it here horizontal now. It is easy for me. And distance I will create now. Three. Yes, three is good. So because we have this offset here, it is wise to put in between a plastic object so they will not eat each other and I will create a space. Now I will create the washer by myself. Normally I would go to library, but that's okay. Front plane here, circle, another circle, outside 14. 
inside 6.5 close this guy we go to extrude post space mid plane 3 millimeter now chamfer yes save I'm going to give here the name 5 I will not go in normal order because it's a small part I'm going to do one by part and when I have that uh, logical uh, sequence of numbering 5 here made this 2 diameter selected it's already here in between I select this surface this surface and it is looking good if you want you can already assign a material white plastic okay something like palm it is good we completed a lot of things except our uh, little knob here where our locker will rotate they rotate let's do it as well move part front plane okay I start something like this I continue something like this and it will look like here last not this a construction geometry so this is 12 guys this is 6 this is eight now some width seven and a half one point five five it's good revolve and nice chamfers zero twenty five is good I look from this surface normal tool click again I get a sketch I pick here a line this line I use for alignment guys that's the only purpose nothing more it will it helps me otherwise I think I should select all points and give them relations but I don't want that select three of them symmetric and I will say this to this perpendicular then here a dimension of 0 0.35 okay it should be okay in fact chamfer might be a little bit bigger let's make it 0 0.35 as well and up to next okay it will be like this cut it circular pattern i need to select an edge and 60 i think was before 60 is too sharp looking let's make it 50. we close this save it in fact now we will say four window and our se where is our se this one i think yes components and uh, four there is a trick if you press alt it should give some relations but now we cannot change it let's rotate it just want to show you that yes this is also possible i select to edge then go to mate then this is also possible we forget here something we need to do this open this part here sketch 8.5 okay and uh, extrude cut where is the value value disappeared okay we close the sketch Let's try again. Okay, something's wrong. I will I will close this part 
and open again. Let's redo. Okay, say so direction. Let's say direction two. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Link to thickness was uh, clicked. I was a little panicked. What is this? Anyway, this was it, what I was trying to do. And um, let's, let's, uh, let's see this section. What do we see here? Hmm. You can first make this one vertical to this plane. So then uh, it is easier to see nicely the section. Yes. You're going to think that how you assemble this part here. But in this kind of, uh, I made intention with the section, this kind of things, they use an pressing. They press and they increase the diameter from normal shaft. And that is automatically locked without using an alternative things. I want to show this. And uh, this was it, in fact. 